What's really good y'all? My name is Jay and I am the person behind this entire channel. Um, as you can tell we're kind of doing something a little different today and that's because I'm taking this opportunity to do a hard pivot on what I'm going to be doing with this channel going forward. Now it's been about three years that I created this channel and I started out with a whole different vibe. Somewhere along the way I've jumped between personal finance, spots of economic theory, uh, market updates, company in introductions and stock breakdowns. And at one point I was doing a bunch of sector intros over the course of a year and I don't even know if anybody watched those. Now, over that time I think I kind of lost myself and over the past few months of soul searching, assisted by a spot over with the boys at TKL and Ulsan, shout out to This Korean Life, I've kind of rediscovered my entire reason for making this channel. See, I never really meant for this channel to be about Korean stocks. It kind of became that during the panty and that's something I've really started to regret recently. I started this channel to help people really figure out how to manage their money and make the most of whatever size paycheck they're taking in at the end of the month, so that's what I'm gonna try to get back to over the next little bit. Before we do that, I think I owe it to you all to kind of go over who I am, why I've built this channel, where I get my info and knowledge, and why anything I've said here or will say has any value. And that starts with me. So, my name is Jay. I've been a public educator in the ROK for the past 10 years. I started in Wando, now I live in Yaosu, and it's where I've built a nest and put down roots. After getting married last year, I'm kind of in it for the long haul, and with that being done, I've got plans in the near future to quit my job and start building for myself once again. Now, education-wise, I've got a BA Honors from the University of Toronto and a Master's of Education from an online institution called University of the People, which, if you're looking to expand your credentials through an accredited university on a small budget, is definitely worth a look. Based on what I've seen online, pretty much most jobs don't really care what the university looks like considering the workload is legit and their programs are no joke, um, but like anything, you get out of it what you put into it. Moving on, I said that I've been a public educator for the past 10 years, and one of the main things about working for government is that you aren't really permitted to develop any income streams outside of your contract. Of course, that doesn't mean you can't can't, but I'm kind of the type of person who tends to do things by the book, so I really haven't, and that's why I haven't monetized this account at all, and I've never picked up any sponsors for any of my videos, I've never set up a Patreon, and I've never created a do donation account because, again, a public contract is something that I personally prefer to honor. Soon though, I have plans to step away from a system that no longer fits my place in life. There's a hard cap in what you can do as a foreigner in education if you don't actually go through with uh, actually writing the imyeongkoshi and doing the entire process. So I'm going to be diversifying my bonds outside of there. Um, hopefully, that means that I will be able to have more time and energy to spend here and to do the things that I really love and want to do, which is help people. And helping people for me is like the key for everything, is what I really love and what I really want to do and all I really want is for everybody to be okay. And that's why I started this channel really. When the panty broke out and everyone was forced inside, it became strikingly clear how little money people had saved for such an event. Many of my friends and family whose financial situation has always seemed stable but a little bit murky were hit with waves on waves of financial crises. Uh, a lot of them were saved by Canada's $2,000 COVID stimmy, which, while not a real sum to pull anyone out of the trenches, was enough to buoy a few boats um, in very dire situations. I figured that if that many long-term employed and hardworking people in my life were that unprepared for a prolonged emergency like the one that started in 2020, there must be way more people out there that could do with a little basic personal financial knowledge. In my mind, it was the Pareto Principle. 80% of all outputs come from a key 20% of all inputs, and my goal was to present that 20% of inputs to those of us living in Korea because, let's face it, resources that cater to foreigners' financial success in Korea are virtually non-existent. Now as a public educator who knows the value of simply having more information, I figured I have the tools to be a resource for those out there who need one. And that brings me to the question of how I know what I know. The simple answer is Wu-Tang Financial, you gotta diversify your bonds. The more complicated one, books. Books on books on books on books on books. And these books are built upon a foundation of growing up with tight resources. Um, a lot of the people I grew up with were actually drug dealers who knew how to double up sums of money until they became stackable, which was actually 
maybe not the greatest thing in terms of law, but it was a very good way of demonstrating how to run a business and how to actually take your money and grow it. And then there was my mom on the other side of all of that who just told me to save money. So I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I'm very much in every way a legal hustle type of guy. Now this upbringing really helped me develop a personal set of rules that I've followed to decent success on a fairly meager salary. Financial YouTube has been helpful with hammering away some standard truths about how to be responsible with money, but in my opinion there's nothing like seeing positive results to encourage good behaviors, so hopefully I can encourage others to get the ball rolling in the short term, and your positive results will help push you along in your financial journey. And that is how we got to the final thing that I want to talk about. Why you should even listen to me. Well that's basically up in the air. I think I know what I'm talking about because the information that I have is not new. There are hundreds of books out there that can help you get your finances straight and the overlap between them is crazy. The issue is that, as with most how to do capitalism books written in English, they cater mostly to the US market. All I'm doing is taking the principles gleaned from a century of theory and practice and applying it to our market in our context. Additionally, the thing with those books is you have to actually read them and I know a lot of y'all don't read. No hate. Don't feel bad about it, it's just a thing. So instead of making you read all those books that I read, I'm just gonna distill it down to what I think is really valuable. As a grown ass man, I don't really believe in blindly following advice from anybody and I don't expect you to either. The best I can do is give you the information I have and hope that you use it to make financial decisions that make living more comfortable for now and for the future. I'm probably gonna show my face soon because my buddy Sorav over at TKL told me that uh, it's weird to hear about money from somebody you can't even see um but yeah when that happens that happens until then bad love family take care see you soon peace <laughs>